Buenos dias, mis hermanos, mis amigos, mis compañeros. I am Mac, your fellow human resource director. I hope you all are having a fantastic Tuesday. I even said that I'm feeling fantastic because I am. It is absolutely wonderful. We are out in Colonia San Francisco de los Altos up here. One of the really cool things about this area is this is a community that is on fire. There are so many people running around and it's just really cool. It kind of reminds me of the time I went to go visit my now wife, Ashley, when she lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico. There were so many people in such a small little area. That's Tegucigalpa. Is a lot of people inside of a small area. And so in this particular neighborhood, there are buses and taxis and everything going up and down the street. And so Mike and Donna King, I mentioned Albuquerque, New Mexico, because thanks to your church, Emmanuel Lutheran Church, y'all are supporting today's medical outreach. It is so neat. Guys, one of the cool things, I want to show y'all something real, uh, real quick. Let's turn y'all around. Right here, we have a laboratory that does exams. We just went in and helped the doctors that helped their community. That was such a neat thing. They are members of the church over here and it was such a neat opportunity for us to go in and bless them and they're out here blessing their community as well. And so Mike and Donna, this is such a, a neat opportunity to be able to love on love on these people through your church, Emmanuel uh, Lutheran Church over there in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I am going to find Roberto. Why? Because this is Roberto's neighborhood. Holy cow. So the coordinator that's been working with us for close to 10 years, we're out here serving in his neighborhood today. And so it is such a neat thing. Let's stop right quick. And so hey, here's my beautiful wife, Ashley. She's working in pharmacy today. Miss Angie, who never takes a break nope. from uh, work. She, <laughs> she's taking a small break right now. <laughs> but that's it. And then we have Nadia. Digle hola. Hola. Oh, that's very good. And so, <laughs> and so Ronald Whaley, Ron's on the uh, call hey, with this. Oh Aww. my goodness. Yeah, what else do you have to say to your daddy? Well, I just appreciate all you guys' prayers in the midst of our outreaches for my mom. She had eye surgery yesterday. So Yay! Just a plug for some prayers for my mom. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. So that's a great way to pray. Maybe yeah. she'll see things your dad's way now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Good deal. Thank y'all so much. And so, where is my friend Roberto? Hello. Hi. No, Roberto está allá. <laughs> and so, Roberto, I want to hear from you, my friend. Talk to me. This is your neighborhood. So, what does this brigade mean to you? Well, this is, uh, well, it's wonderful, right? Because all my neighbors get to see what we're doing. And they know that we work in the brigades and they go to the church, a lot of the brothers from the church. So I get to knock on their doors and tell them, hey, we're here, we're doing it again. We're bringing the gospel to people. And it's just wonderful because the gospel is being spread in my neighborhood. Donna and Mike have come to my house. They know they've been here in this neighborhood. They, they, they had uh, dinner with us. So they know exactly what we're talking about, where we're at. And I want to thank them, and I want to thank Emmanuel Lutheran Church. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. I... All right. So it's wonderful, right, to be able to help your neighbors. The Bible says to love your neighbors like yourself, and uh, that's what we do with WGL. We come and knock on doors, and we just tell people about Christ and His love, right? Yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right. And so... Forgive me, but he had to go return and, and go knock on some more doors to help get people to come on out. And so let's go check out some what we have here. We've got Dr. Nelly here meeting and one of the members of the church is helping him out. And and so this is such a, a neat thing. And so this is uh, Familia Canales Escoa. Escoa, I think that's how you say that. And so it's so neat to be able to have these markings above the door and just saying this is the house of the, uh, the Lord's house right here. It's the Lord's blessing. So such a neat thing but here we've got just a good standard community inside of the church or inside of the good standard community inside of this area here and it's neat houses stacked upon houses and if you want chinese food you can come here and get some comida china and different things y'all ever these are ficus trees who here likes ficus trees gustavo como estamos ficus trees here 
are absolutely beautiful and big. You can sculpt them in many different ways and, and just build them. So just really neat. I always enjoy seeing these style of trees. And so let's go down here. As you can see, traffic is constantly flowing. We've got our doctors over there. There's Dr. Haiti. And then we've got evangelism going on right here. These are ways that we're just trying to get out and, and do care pay. And so, hey Lisa, hope you're doing well. Be sure to check out the uh, first of the video, Lisa, and you'll be able to see Miss Angie. And so, here's someone who's received their medicine and now they're getting ready to talk to them more about the Lord. So that's really neat. And so, there's there's something I want to be able to help y'all understand is that we're we're out here doing ministry and. We want to open up, open up the doors for you to do ministry. The third and fourth quarter of this year, if it's on your heart to come and serve, if you want to have a five to seven person team, I want you to let me know because we want to get you involved. There are ways that this can happen so that you can come and serve. So if you want, please let me know. I'm also going to put Melissa's email in there, Melissa Pantoja. She's the one who is going to help coordinate it. I'm just here to say, great, let's get your information over to Melissa and get her involved. If you want to come serve as a missionary full time, I'm the person you want to talk to because I am your neighborhood human resource director. And so if there is something that's on your heart or if you know someone that's like, you know what, they need to join the mission field, let me know because we are looking for teachers. I've got a really cool opportunity in Belize. I just opened up this position. It is the uh, agricultural business development manager i'll say it again agricultural business development manager we are looking to give an opportunity to grow and impact wgo in belize for the people in the u.s hola kaylin como estamos que bueno verla and we want to be able to impact people this is a north american uh, field position but we need someone who can come in and help to construct new ways of doing hydroponics with growing agriculture. Um, chocolate is very big in Belize. So if there's a way that we can develop a chocolate uh, production or wood or something along those lines where we're blessing the Belizean people at the same time, we're able to help create a, a different stream of connecting uh, WGO US to WGO Belize that's a really neat opportunity just like we have uh, WGO Coffee Club here in Honduras that's something we want to be able to do in Belize as well so if that's a something that's on your heart if you know someone that has that kind of mentality thinking understanding I need to know who that person is can you share that information with me because this would be a, such a cool opportunity to do ministry in such a different way and believe me, I'm the first to tell you, I didn't think that I belonged on the mission field, but God said otherwise. So I'm, I will humbly say, okay, Lord, this is cool. This is neat. I understand that there are so many different ways to get involved in the mission field. You don't have to be a certain X, Y, or Z in order to be a missionary. And as we often say, wherever you are in life, that's your mission field. So wherever you are, don't feel that you're not doing enough for God. You are. You need to be pushing your neighborhood and wherever you are living to do that. But if there's an opportunity to join the mission field, there may be an opportunity with WGO as well. So we'd love to be able to hear from you in that sense. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and check out for today. I am burning up. It is hot right now. I kid you not. We are close to the equator. That sun is beating down on me, which is why I have my trusty sombrero. And even with this, I still get sunburned. And so it's it's crazy i also have very white skin they call me jelly here which is just white guy and so yeah it's one of those things i need to go get some some water real quick but thank you so much for checking in and we love each and every one of you in so many different ways emmanuel lutheran church y'all are amazing thank you for your continued support over the years and doing it virtually as well we cannot wait to see y'all back here in the country y'all have an amazing fantastic tuesday